Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Hog 2.6 on ladder. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm in my first match here. Okay, see what deck this guy's playing, but Hog 2.6 is pretty popular right now. If you check right at this moment, you'll see over 20 Hog 2.6 in the top 100, so that shows that the deck is officially back, but let's not get our hopes too high though. I feel like we're kind of close to a perfect meta, but Goblin Drill Evo is going to be a thing soon, so I don't know how it's going to be. We'll see when it comes out, but Golem in the back. Okay, I need to get to a hog and just go hog on the left. I want to bait out some elixir on the left, or like some important cards on the left. Oh, nice. I baited out Night Witch. Okay. Not bad. Night Witch is actually really nice, because now I don't have to worry about a Golem Night Witch push. Even though he might be able to lightning me, I'm not really too sure, though. I'm going to go for a cannon in the middle. I'm also going to Musketeer on the side for the Golem. Okay, looking good. I could probably like Ice Golem here. Yeah, now I have to Ice Golem. I honestly thought he would lightning the musketeer, but that was a better play because he got a golem on the tower. He got one shot and now he's going to get the death damage on the tower. The evil eye spirit is going to prevent like most of the golemite damage though. I'll take that for sure. Okay, not too bad. Um, I can't even go in right now. He has evil barbs in cycle, so I'm just going to let this go. Um, I might have to hog in the back here for the barbs because then I'm actually going to be able to bait out the barbs early and then like a second or two earlier and then I'm going to be able to fireball on time. Not really too sure. Wait, I'm going to predict. Come on. Come on. Please. Come on. Yes. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. That was amazing. Okay, now all I have to do is defend a really huge golem push because I'm going to be down elixir in like the next 10 seconds or so. But I'm not going to be down like that much. So I'm probably going to be down like maybe max five. That's like maximum. I'm not going to be down more than that. So I think I'll be fine. I also like, I wonder if I can get back to my fireball on time to take that pump off the field for it to like not get any value. Yeah, wait, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm going to fireball. Yeah, looking good. He got like maybe one extra elixir from that pump than what he was supposed to get, but I'll take it. That was pretty good. I'm going to go for a cannon super down low. He's not going to be able to really lightning both. So I don't know what he's going to do. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay, I'm going to go for a Musketeer again. Golem players, man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit. going to hog in the back. When you go hog in the back with 2.6, by the way, you have like plenty of time to react to whatever they're going to place on defense for the Hog Rider. So if he goes Barbs right now, I can definitely Fireball on time and keep my Hog healthy. Okay, never mind. I think he gave up. All right, super nice first win. Um... <laughs> I think that prediction fireball was the move because it would have taken me forever to take the tower down. Like maybe like two or three more hog riders on the left to take the tower down. But that just instantly took the tower down. I defend clean and I win the game. So I'll take the win. Gonna hop right in. All right, in my next match, you're facing Daniel RD. See what deck he's playing. I'm gonna go for skellies in the back to cycle. I'll just go hog second play. Hog at the start of the game is a really good play, by the way. You can sometimes starting hand your opponents and get a lot of damage. You can also bait out like a lot of elixir if they don't have the right cards in hand i'm gonna go for a musketeer in the back to cycle not to cycle just to respond to the inferno dragon and the knight and the one archer i'm also gonna fireball kind of feel the need to i didn't have to but kind of felt the need to fireball what <laughs> oh my god that was horrible okay wait i'm not gonna just hog rider though i think since he froze he definitely has a tornado so i'm gonna go for a hog behind the ice golem directly Oh, he has a bowler too, and that's not fun. Bowler's gonna take out my hog. Maybe one shot though, because he does have the princess tower. To be fair, everyone's playing the princess tower now. But okay, one shot, I'll take it. And he had the archers on top. Next cycle, he is gonna be back to evil archers, but I like this because I'm gonna be up a lot of elixir right now. I can probably just go in right now, like musketeer the back, and then I'll try to get back to ice golem and just go ice golem hog. Maybe even like fireball the inferno dragon if he's too low, but. We'll see about that though. I'm gonna go for a ice golem and then I'm just gonna hog like on the side here. I'm gonna put it normally because he's not back to NATO. Only has a freeze right now, so I think I'll be fine. He's gonna have to freeze all that stuff right now. Okay, that's a ton of damage. Oh my god, he can't recover from this, I don't think. I actually don't think he can like come back from this. Could be wrong though. I'm gonna go for a musky in the back again. Musketeer in the back is so nice. It clogs up a whole lane for a whole minute. Not a whole minute, like half a minute, but it's so nice that they can't do anything on the same lane that you musky in the back. Okay. I'm going to go for a log. I'm back to Ice Golem, so I'm going to protect my Musketeer. Ooh, really good Evo Archers, actually. I might take some damage if he goes in with a graveyard here, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to go for a Musketeer. 
Okay, two hits on the right off that archer. I'm gonna go for a cannon. I'm just gonna log here, kind of late. Okay, not bad. I split that pretty even. 36-44 and 35-71 is pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for an ice golem hog on the left. I already got the right side tower, so now I'm gonna work on the left. And I think he gave up. Let's go. Okay, two games in a row, two people gave up. Let's see if I can, like, keep the chain going. Although, I don't know if I can. Like, eventually, I'm probably gonna face, like, a really hard matchup with tornado and a building so i don't know no promises but i will try gonna go for a fireball log super nice game once again gonna hop right in and see when i find a match artem in my next match you're facing trb kira man this is so amazing everyone's playing the princess tower kind of feels nice to see i don't know gonna go for an ice spirit on the right okay knight in the back so i'm gonna musky in the back here to cycle kind of just respond to that knight with it um see what deck he's playing he might try to like spell my okay never mind giant skelly so it must be like some sort of either hog rider triple spell deck or it's gonna be like some off meta whack deck and so far it's looking like an off meta deck i could be wrong though but yeah night witch and giant skelly could be clone to be fair that wouldn't be off meta but i don't know this is like not a thing <laughs> okay i'm gonna go for ice skull in the middle i don't care if the ice skull dies i just wanted to take out the night witch Okay, now I'm going to go in again. I'm going to try to see if he has, like, any good defense for it. Oh, my God. That's going to be, like, three hits because Hog Rider is so broken. One, two. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys thought that was balanced. But Hog got three hits on the tower when there was a Sparky defending it. To be fair, I did get the Ice Spirit jump and I also tanked with it. So, that was, like, why I got most of the damage. But I'll take it either way, though gonna go for an ice golem in the middle tank for the spear gob so that my cannon doesn't die too quick gonna go for an evil ice spear on top of the sparky so now i don't have to worry about the sparky clean defense perfect although i am kind of worried like in double or if this game gets to triple i'm gonna have a huge problem like when he gets back to his evil knight i'm gonna have to defend like a massive dual lane push and i'm not looking forward to that i'm gonna go for a hog rider on the right i'm gonna keep pressuring on the right though so that he feels the need to like defend and not go for like a big push in the back yeah see look if he defends with a really important card he's gonna have to go for like an offensive unit like he had to commit to a giant skelly because he played a night witch right there he couldn't just let the night witch go but yeah i'm just gonna kind of keep doing that like i'm gonna hog right now on the right and try to bait out like a sparky that way he can play evil goblin giant and then he's not gonna be able to play the evil knight on time never mind okay he's smart sparky in the back and now i'm cooked i think if he's smart, he'll definitely go dual lane. I don't know how to control this, though. I actually don't know how to defend this. Um, okay, I skull him on the right, and then I'll just go for a cannon on the right. I'll go skellies here. Um, I'll just go for a log. I'll go for, like, an ice spear. I'll go ice skull him. Come on. No. I tried to save the musketeer. Wait, this is so bad. Um, I'm going to need to fireball log the right, and then I'm just going to have to... Eat the one sparky shot and then go evil eye spirit okay evil eye spirit's actually so clutch i can defend a whole sparky with it i think i survived though let's go yeah that's the one push i was worried about and he got a lot of damage but luckily he didn't get both my towers or even one because if he got one i would have lost on the other side because i was down already but i'll take the win that was pretty nice balanced all right in my next match you're facing ak ray see what deck he's playing ak ray or is it like AC Cray? I don't know. Gonna go for a Hog Rider on the right. Okay, Barbarians. Ooh, I'm probably gonna have to go for like a Prediction Fireball later on. But see what matchup this could be. Uh, could be Golem. Could also be a different matchup. Okay. Not really too sure what to do here. I'm probably gonna go for like Skellies right now. And then I'm gonna go for a Musketeer in the corner. Okay, I kind of messed up with the Skellies. I'm gonna take a lot of damage off the Barbs now. I shouldn't have played them so early, but... It's okay, that's like, what, three hits? Yeah, three on my tower. It's okay, though, Eagle Home should be easy enough, I think, if I play well. Gonna go for a cannon. I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit to block Void. Oh, that is not a Void. Okay, I gotta kite this now, and then I gotta go for, like, a Log on the Blobs. Yeah, I'll just go Log here, get some Elixir back, and then I'm probably gonna Musketeer on the right. Yeah, I'll just go Musky here. And then I'm gonna try to Ice Golem Hog, but before that, I'm gonna try to get the Evil Ice Spirit on the Barbarian so that I can Fireball on time. Okay, evil ice spirit over here, and then I'll go ice golem and then hog rider. This should be good. No, my evil ice spirit's gonna die. Why do you have a firecracker in this deck? 
Oh, okay. No hits yet again because Evo Barbs are really good on defense versus Hog, but I just didn't know that he had a Firecracker. I wouldn't have, like, clogged all my stuff like that if I knew. It's okay, though. Um, Plenty of time to make up for it. Gonna go for Evo Skellies on top of the Firecracker. Not too bad. Even though they're not gonna do much, that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna go for a Muskie in the back, so if he does Fireball the first one, I'm gonna be back to a second one to defend. Or, like, he could let the first one go and kill it with support units and then try to fireball the second one, but then he has to worry about the cannon, so it's like a win-win for me. I have a lot of defensive units, so I don't really have to stress like that. I'm gonna go for skellies on top of the blobs, and then I'll go for ice spirit. I'm just gonna musketeer. And see, look, if you cycle one early, they're gonna fireball, and then you get back to a second one, and you're just chilling. Can I go for a hog in the back? Okay. I'm gonna have to go for, like, an ice golem in front here. Come on. Okay. Rotate it back to an Ice Golem. If he goes Barbarians, wait, I win here. Hold on. That's like a ton of damage. One. One more shot. Nice. Hog is so balanced. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that was pretty balanced. I got like a really quick fireball down, but it feels wrong to get two hits there. I don't know why. I'm gonna go for uh, Ice Golem, and then I'm just gonna go for Evo Skellies right now. <laughs> Man, no wonder Ian has so many top one finishes. This is so easy to play. I'm gonna go for a log right now. Okay, not the best ability. Matter of fact, terrible ability. Oh, even worse, firecracker. Okay. I'm gonna go for Ice Skull in the middle. He just wasted his uh, Evo Cracker, so I'm gonna hog in the back. I'm gonna try to go for like a log fireball here. I think I might be able to hit like the bottom two barbs, question mark. I thought he would barb set the bridge for some reason, but he played a fireball on defense. I didn't get a hit. Okay, fair. Not too bad, fair gonna go for a musketeer in the middle and then i'll just go ice golem i'll go for a hog i'll go evil ice bear and then i'll fireball the barbs yeah if i fireball these like what's he gonna do one two give me one more three okay i'll take that for sure easy defense on the eagle though kind of glad that i don't have to worry about the defense and double and triple elixir because i can just fireball log literally everything I'm gonna go for an ice golem i'm not gonna be able to kite that away so i had to play the same lane um, do I even need a fireball? Nah. Nah, I'm looking good. I don't need a fireball. I'm gonna go for a log. Okay, maybe I did need a fireball. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, gonna go for a cannon super high so that he can't hit it with a fireball. And then I'm gonna go for Evo Skeletons. Okay, let's go for the arrows on the musky, but it doesn't matter. The Evo Skellies are cooking, and that should be no damage on my tower. I'll take that for sure. I'm just gonna go for a hog in the back. Ice Golem in front. Cycle back, cycle back. Second musketeer second hog rider and that is gonna be a good game he gave up as well i'll take it dude it's crazy how quick you can cycle back to hog rider with this deck i'm gonna hop right in see when i find a match but so far looking good artem and my next match here Ooh, so far i think i faced all princess tower this video pretty cool not gonna lie okay i'm just gonna go for an ice bear on the right i'm just gonna hog rider with it too hopefully that makes it on the tower so i get like a few hits even if he tries to defend yeah, that should be two. Usually it would be one, but it should be two because I got the ice spirit. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go for a log on the guards. Um, this could be Hog Rider. No, what am I saying? No, Hog Rider. Sorry, I meant to say Lava Hound because he played a Zap and guards, and now he played Skelly Drag. So it is gonna be Lava Hound 100%. That reminds me, that now, like, he has no uh, good counter for my hog. He has a Void, Inferno Dragon, Valk, and a. I believe Lava Hound? Yeah. Yeah, he had to play Inferno Dragon and a Valk to prevent the second hit from Mahog there, so... Now I can Musketeer, bait out the Void, and then I can go in again. And then log Ice Spear at the guards and just win the game. Obviously, the sequence might not go as planned, but I think I could pull this off. I think I could do this. I'm gonna go for an Evil Ice Spear at the back, like all the way in the back. And then Hog a little bit early-ish, so he feels the need to play guards, but then, like... Hopefully the guards die to my Ice Spear, and then I just get a lot of damage. I don't know. I'm gonna go for a hog right now. I'm gonna go for a log. Yeah, I think I actually... That was too early. Okay. All right, next time I can't do it that early, but a little bit less early, and I would have gotten like four shots right there because my hog would not die. Skelly's in the back. Yo, he lost. Wait, I actually just won. I'm gonna ice golem him on the left. I'm gonna ice spear on the right, and then I'm gonna hog on the right. He can't stop either lane. Wait, he can skelly drags in the middle, but I'm gonna fireball that really quick. Oh, nice. Okay, I think I win now. Oh my god. No zap and cycle. He just got back to zap, by the way. <laughs> he's back to zap now, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to save that tower. Yo, he's at two right now. Why is he not playing it? 
I think he lost. He gave up question mark. No, okay. He was just waiting for the zap. All right, now he's probably going to void. Let's go for the void on the musketeer. Not too bad. I'll take it. All right. Good defense. I'm going to go for a cannon in the middle. Displacement pulls that balloon, but if they play a one over, you're going to have to play the cannon one over as well. Really good defense on the balloon. No death bomb or anything. Wait, I lied. Wait, no, I didn't lie. Wait, did I lie? No, I didn't lie. Okay. Hog red. Why did I just hog like that? I don't know why I just hog like that. Muscle memory. Whenever you see a musketeer alive, you just want to hog that lane. But that tower was gone already. I just put the hog on the normal spot into nothing. Okay, gonna go for an ice golem again into the inferno dragon. I think I can defend this. Even if he goes for like a balloon, I think I'll be fine. 15 seconds on the clock, so all I have to do at this point is distract. But I think I can also like full defend here. I'm gonna fireball. Gonna go for like a cannon super high. And then he's probably going to follow up with guards, but I'll just go log on the guards. And that should be a really good defense. Yeah, if the game went on, I definitely would have been able to defend this. But I'll take the win. That is going to be a good game. I'm going to end the video there. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. That was a pretty good win streak. I think I got like five in a row or something. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.